we're going to look at compound types. These are two main types of compounds that we're going to be looking at. There are, are other types of compounds, uh, covalent compounds and ionic compounds. Covalent is non-metal with non-metal. Uh, in this process, uh, they form bonds by sharing electrons, sharing um, pairs of electrons. A uh, pair of electrons, two electrons, you need two electrons to make a bond, uh, that's a single bond. If we have two pairs, that's a double bond, three pairs, that's a triple bond. Covalent compounds have a wide range of melting points and boiling points. So we find them in a variety of physical states, gases, liquids, and solids. Ionic compounds are formed by ions. Um, electrons are transferred to form positive ions, which are called cations, and negative ions, which are called anions. Uh, this is generally a metal with a non-metal, but we also have the ammonium ion, which is has a positive charge. Uh, so we form ionic compounds when we have our ammonium ion combined with a non-metal. And our normal ionic solids are all have high melting points and are all our solids at room temperature. So you know, we have a list that we'll practice with. Um, so HCl, there's no metal present, there's no NH4 present, so this is covalent. Uh, H2O, no metal, no NH4, so it's also covalent. NaH, Na is a metal, H is a non-metal, so this is ionic. NH3, no metal, no NH4, so this is covalent. CH4, no metal, no NH4, so covalent. NH4Cl, no metal, but we have that NH4. So this would be ionic. Li3P, Li is a metal, P is a non-metal, so this is ionic. Fe, it's a sub element. Uh, there's no subscripts. Uh, so this is uh, neither ionic nor covalent. We'll just call this an uh, element. Br2, again, it's an element, but there's a subscript now. So it's Br, a non metal, combined with Br, a non metal. So it's covalent. So it is both an element, but it's forming a covalent molecule. CaI2, Ca calcium is a metal, I iodine is a nonmetal, so this is ionic. NH4, NO3, NH4 again that uh, substitutes for metal in ionic compounds. So we have an ionic. IBr3, there's no metal, no NH4, so this is covalent. PH3, no metal, no NH4, so covalent. CHCl3, no metal, no NH4, so covalent. So let's look at the ionic a little bit closer. When we dissolve these in water, they disassociate into ions. If we're to melt it, it'll also disassociate into ions. So calcium iodide also a uh, Ionic compound will disassociate into calcium ions and iodide ions. Lithium phosphide. OK, 
can dissociate into lithium ions and phosphate ions, ammonium chloride, will dissociate in water or by melting into ammonium ions and chloride ions. And um, later on, we'll be looking at hydrogen. Hydrogen is normally positive um, when we look at redox reactions, but when combined with metal, hydrogen becomes a, a negative. Uh, there's uh, one more that if we disassociate into water, the HCl will disassociate also, but it's not ionic, it's an acid. So that is another class of compounds that we'll see that uh, do form ions in water, acids and bases, uh, but they are not considered to be the acids are not considered to be ionic compounds. Um, HCl as a pure compound uh, does not show this trait. It's only when we dissolve it in the water that it will dissociate. So that's uh, a covalent acid. These others are ionic compounds that will uh, become ionic whether we just melt them or dissociate them in water, which also means that the compound is ionic in the solid form. So it's a ammonium chloride is an alternating array of sodium ions and chloride ions even in the solid form. We do not see that with the acids. Uh, 